Okay, I've got a new project I'm about to do. This is my little uh, Cast 94 one-man fishing kayak. And what I want to do, I'm kind of lazy, I don't want to uh, paddle. So, I've got this old uh, trolling motor that I've had for a while in storage. And there's nothing wrong with it. It's just, it's, uh, it's just old. But uh, it's pretty strong. It's called a motor guide hog. Anyway, I'm going to mount it on my little one-man kayak back here. So what I've done is I've taken a piece of <coughs> a piece of, pow of uh, paper. Um, this is wrapping paper. And what I've done, if you can see this little line here, is I've made a pattern for my board that I'm, gonna, I'm going to attach to the back of my kayak. I've got to have a flat surface for the, uh, for the motor to, to sit on. So, that's what I'm doing now. I'm mind as to how I'm going to do this. I'm going to uh, actually make this a little lower. This little and the reason is, is, you can see the back of this thing is curved. It has a hump there, so it's not a good surface to put a flat one. Plus, it would raise my um, trolling motor up too high. I'm just going to try to sit it down in here and bolt it down. Add some foam under there. I think that'll be strong enough for that little trolling motor. We'll see. Okay, what I've done is drill holes. This is an aluminum base and uh, straight through here and into the boat. And I've come up with these uh, carriage bolts on the bottom up. And then we'll see how that holds. Shouldn't be a lot of pressure on this little boat to push it. So I'm thinking that'll hold. Okay, I've got the base mounted. And uh, what I've done is put the, the base on here. Um, and then I drilled holes through the boat using a quarter inch drill bit. Using Then I used a quarter inch bolts from the bottom coming up through. And you can see right here, I put some, I put three washers under each uh, bolt on the bottoms. That allows for clearance for this curvature of the boat. And uh, this baby's strong. It's not going to go anywhere. Um, so, anyway, the base is mounted. Oh, also, there is a drain plug back here that I wanted to have access to because you get water in your boat, the sucker gets heavy. So, I want to be able to tilt it up and I have access with this plate up like, like it is. So, that works out really good. See, I can take it out and put it back in without a problem. <clears throat> okay, now I'm going to work on installing my trolling motor with the controls. I'm thinking about doing a hand control. Okay, we're working right along here. I've got the base mounted and I have the uh, retraction mechanism mounted. <clears throat> and, uh, one other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to shorten this uh, the trolling motor itself. I didn't want it to be sticking up crazy high like this. That'd look stupid. So I'm going to shorten the shaft down to something like that. <clears throat> also, I'm shortening the shaft so that the the propeller won't be so low in the water. I'm going to put the propeller about this level, where it should be. And I've taken my trolling motor apart, cleaning it up. <clears throat> and what I did, what I'm doing now is just kind of taking my estimates as to where to cut this pipe. So that uh, when I reassemble it, it'll look right and, and hopefully function properly. <clears throat> so everything's just apart right now uh, as far as the trolling motor. And I'm going to make some cuts and shorten it up. Okay, I just used my chop saw to uh, shorten the length of this upper portion of the uh, trolling motor and I cut about seven and a half inches off. I'm now cutting this inner shaft uh, that's all aluminum <clears throat> and since there are some wires that's attached inside this motor that run through this shaft 
Uh, I don't want to cut them because I want to use those. Uh, and I don't want to break the seals on this motor. I don't want to stand the risk of it uh, leaking. So in order to cut this shaft without cutting the wires, what I'm doing is just simply using a plumber's cutter. Well, <clears throat> I wasn't able to use the uh, plumbing cutter because this aluminum is pretty thick. It's about a quarter of an inch thick. So I just used my hacksaw and uh, this tubing, uh, this wire actually had a tubing around it and I barely even scratched the tubing. I just went real slow. There's a little scratch on the tubing but this has nothing to do with the wiring so I'm still good with all that. So anyway, you can't use your plumbing cutter on this because this is some thick aluminum on these trolling motors, or at least on this one. Okay, it's almost 10 o'clock at night. I've been working on this thing all day. Uh, I'll take that back. I did take about an hour off and went and jogged. But uh, anyway, I've got the uh, little trolling motor. You can see I've got, I've got it mounted. I've got it shortened. Uh, just to give you an idea how big it is, here's my drill up next to it. Um, looks like it's going to have a pretty shallow, uh, I don't know what you call it, but the, the tiller is going to be fairly shallow in the water, so I should be able to go in some really shallow, shallow water. <clears throat> anyway, I'm liking the way this is turning out. This is going to be pretty cool. Next comes uh, hooking up my wires to my controls. And then I'm still trying to decide on what to do. Uh, there's not much room in this little thing, but anyway, we'll figure it something out. Anyway, that's the end of today's project. I'll start on it tomorrow. Probably tomorrow after lunch. Okay, we're progressing right along on our little boat project here. I've got the uh, motor installed. Um, I have the control push rod coming out. This did go to a, the foot control, but uh, I want to use my hands <coughs> to control this. And so what I'm doing now is trying to devise a, a little plate <coughs> so that I can use... I'm thinking about putting a, a lever right here to control the control. So what I've done is just taken a, a 1 8 piece of aluminum and roughly drawn out what I want it to look like. And I'm going to have the, the lever fulcrum about right here. And um, we'll go from there. Okay, it's coming together. <clears throat> I've made my aluminum plate. This is going to be my basically my base for my control handle. I'm going to mount it right here. I've got the push rod coming from the motor to right here. It goes back and forth like that for the control. All right, so now I got to come up with some kind of handle to mount right here for control. Okay. I've got my little handle <coughs> installed here on my little boat. Go back and forth. And the motor will turn. Okay guys, I just got the uh, the motor on and the controls mounted. <coughs> The wires coming out of here, they travel along the same pathway as the control. Um, I've showed you the control rod that I have, a little joystick, and uh, I've got the controls all uh, put in the best way I, that I could. And I wanted it to be just as convenient as I could, so hopefully sitting in the boat like this, I'll have control of the on and off. Uh, this is the rheostat for, for the speed, and this is the switch to make it go either wide open or using the rheostat. And uh, so, what I'm going to do 
is let's see if it works. And uh, <clears throat> I robbed a battery from my welder. I'm going to stick it up here somewhere and uh, see if I can get this thing to working. Okay. Here's the negative. Oh, let's do it like this. Here's the negative. Again, this is just temporary. I'm just trying to see if it works. This is the positive. Now, hopefully, I'll turn this so we can see it. Hopefully, when I mash this button right here, uh, it will turn. Oh yeah. Okay, got it running. Just about battery needs a little charging. Uh, this is. Nice and smooth. And the little wrist that works also. I can vary my uh, speed of this. Or I can put it over to wide open. <laughs> Let's see, that's off. And that's with the wrist that. I can turn the power down even more. Just by turning this little wrist down here, I need to put me a knob on there. And it turns nice and slow. Good for trolling. Be a whole lot better at power this sucker. <laughs> You control it from up here. Just moving your level forward, back, and turn it left, right, or even backwards. Cool. Well, <clears throat> the uh, next time you see this, I'm going to have it in the lake. And uh, we'll see how it does. So stay tuned for part two.